Hey there, Chef Jess here from Vegan Gastronomy and today we're going to be making a decadent vegan milk chocolate mousse. So just going to go through some of the ingredients that we'll be using in this recipe. So we have some vegan dark chocolate. Most chocolate um, on the grocery store shelves that's dark is vegan, just make sure it has no milk solids in there. We're also going to be utilizing some uh, vegan uh, whipping cream. We have some vanilla essence over here. We have some cast sugar or pure icing sugar. Potato protein, this is our 3% solution of potato protein and you can jump over and watch the video to see how that is made. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so our first step is we need to whip up our whipping cream. This is a vegan whipping cream. You could use um, coconut cream. I'll give you those details of how you can utilize that. So we need to whip this until soft peaks. We're also gonna be adding our vanilla essence as well. All right, it's ready now. So as you can see, we've got some nice soft peaks. Okay. So we're just going to set that aside. And now we're going to be melting our vegan dark chocolate. So this over a bakery, so we have a saucepan with some water. And we're just going to melt this and then take it off the heat and just bring it back to room temperature. So now we have our chocolate mixed with the first third. We're going to be adding in stages and we're going to be folding it through. So we don't, at this stage now, we don't want to lose much of that foam. And we do want to be working fairly quickly. So that's the last of our potato protein foam that we're just folding through. And now we have this is our softly whipped cream, so our vegan whipped cream. And we're going to do the same thing with that. So we're just adding in stages and folding that through. velvety chocolate mousse. And now to make our chocolate mousse even more decadent, I just jumped onto Vine Vineboard to check whether Contro was vegan and our friends over in France say yes, so we're gonna add a little bit of that to our chocolate mousse as well. Probably just like a tablespoon or two. And we're gonna fold that through. Now I'm just popping my mixture here into a piping bag. Just makes it a lot easier to pipe into our container that we're going to be using. I 
adding some chocolate decorations to our mix and I've got some macerated strawberries as well but you can add whatever you want. I've got some lovely chocolate curls, my students made them this week in pastry class. So there you have it, my chocolate, as I like to call it, air mousse, but I'm going to keep this one for me, so bon appetit.